In this video, I will show you a brand new feature of Power Apps that's going to allow us to print any screen in Power Apps, and that screen can have any data or any control in it. So stay tuned. Hello everyone, this is Deepak and welcome to my channel. Now in Power App, we have a brand new function that is print that will allow us to print any screen, right? So if you go to your uh, Power App Studio and if you go under new screen, now you can see two new templates are available. One is portrait and one is the landscape. And as you know, if you select a portrait template, then you can print the data control that you have in your screen in the portrait mode. If you select the landscape, then you can print data in the landscape mode. A very small disclaimer here. If you try to go to your uh, Power Apps Studio and if you don't see these two options, don't worry because Microsoft is releasing these uh, new features uh, into the targeted tenant. Soon these features will be available for most of the tenant. So if you don't have these features now, don't worry, you will have it soon. Okay, so we're going to start uh, clicking on portrait print. So uh, what I'm doing, I'm adding a new screen. I selected the portrait template, that's the new template. Now, if you look at the screen, there is a small button here that's saying print. Let me run this for you. Now, if I click on uh, this print button without making any changes to it, and you can see an empty page here, of course, because our screen doesn't have anything in it. So let me cancel here. And what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna add a quick chart. Now, if I play this screen, and click on print. Now, as you can see here, so I have my chart available to print. So now from here, you can select the printer. Pretty simple, right? So now let's see how this is working. If you go to the print button or the link here, and if you go to the on select property of this button, you see this is a function it's calling print, and that's the new function that you have now. So if you use this function on click event of uh, either a button or the icon, this function is going to print that screen and all the information control data that available on the screen. If you have also noticed, when I'm clicking on the print button here, on the final output screen, you don't see that print button. So how that is happening? If you go to this print button and if you go to the visible property of this button, it's saying not parent.printing. So parent.printing is going to give me uh, the flag, whether true or false, if the current screen is in print mode or not. So, if the screen is in print mode, then don't show this print button. If it is not, then show it. Very simple, right? So we can use this feature for uh, many or other things. One more thing. Let me add a background image for this screen. Okay, I added this background screen. And now if I play the app and I click on print, as you can see here, the image is not showing up here. And the reason behind this, if you go to the more settings, there's an option called background graphics. If I select that, I can see my image here. If I uncheck that, the background image will go away. So if you have any graphics in your app and you don't want to print them, you can uncheck that. But if you like to include that option or uh, that background graphics in your printing, then you can select that. Okay, now you might be wondering that, oh, I have to select either this or this option to make this print work. The answer is no. I can select any screen. So I'm gonna start with the blank screen, okay? And in this screen, let's add a button here. What I can do, I can call the print function now from this screen as well. If I drop the same column chart here, if I click on button, it's gonna be work exactly like it was working on those uh, portrait or the landscape template. So as you can see here, I can still print that. So that option is available uh, for any other screen as well. Now let me give you a quick use case of where this can be very useful. So what I did, I created another screen here. In this screen, what I'm showing, this is the detail of the investors. If I play this app now, and if I click on print, now you can see the data is printing. You can see all the data is here, but there is a scroll bar, right? And we don't want that scroll bar in the printing. And the reason why we are having that scroll bar, because this print function right now is going to print everything that is visible on the screen. 
So, because we have the scroll bar visible on the screen, it is printing, right? So what we need to do, we need to somehow get rid of this scroll bar. Now, how we can get rid, rid of the scroll bar? Either we can just say, don't show the scroll bar, but then we don't have all the data. So instead, what we can do, I have this small quick function here. And in this function, what I'm checking, if parent.printing that we know, this is the function that's gonna give us the true or false, if the current is screen in the print mode or not. So if I'm printing the screen, the height of the gallery, because this is the gallery, right? Is going to self dot template height. Template height is the height of these each row. So in our case, this is 45, right? So the template size is 45. So 45 into a number of item that we have in the gallery. So this will give me the height that going to include all of these different items. So in that case, we don't see the scroll bar. Okay. Else, if I'm not printing, then just keep the height as it is. So let me play this one. So now as you can see here, now I have a scroll bar, no change for the user experience. But if I click on the print now, as you can see here, the scroll bar has gone, but it is still just showing me the 15 items. So what we need to do in that case, we have increased the height of the gallery, but the screen itself still at the same height. So we need to increase the screen height as well as we are increasing the gallery height. So if I go to the screen and if you look at the height, so this is the height of my screen, right? Very simple standard height. Here also I have another formula and the formula is very simple. If self.printing, again, because we are at the screen level and we are printing the screen, so self.printing, if this is printing, then gallery.height, else you can keep this one, what was the default, right? But if you notice, my gallery is starting from here. So I have this header, then I have these column headers. So what we can also do, we just need to add whatever space available on top of a screen. So what I can do here, I'm gonna say gallery.height plus header, that is a rectangle that I have, rectangle one dot height plus my uh, column header, right? That is another rectangle that I have. So I'm just adding these two as well onto the screen height. And if you click this one, so this is my header rectangle. And if I select this one, this is my column header rectangle. Okay, so now I set it up my screen height according to if this is printing, then just take whatever the height of the gallery plus all these my header heights, okay? Now let's run this app. Now if I print, and you see, it's taking all the space available in the page. Now again, you need to remember this thing. This is printing, so it depends on the size of the page. If your page is small, then it won't be able to fit all the numbers here, right? So whatever space available, it's fitting all the space and printing all those items here without scrolling. Fair enough, right? It's very simple, you can do the printing. Now let's take this, another example. You see this identifier here. Now I want to have some logic here when they are viewing this app, they should be able to see the identity fire. But when I'm printing, I don't want this number to be printed because this is very uh, critical number and should not be shared. So what you can do now, again, I have another simple formula here that you can try. And what this formula is doing, if the screen dot printing, and invest screen is the name of my screen. So what I'm saying, if this screen is printing, then use this format or mask the number, else just show me the actual value. So now if I run my app here, and if I click on the print, as you can see here, so now my print doesn't have that number. So these are the few examples that you can try with this new print function. Yes, this is brand new function. So it has some limitations as of now because it has been just released. It's going to have more advanced uh, feature in the future. Yeah, so uh, give a try for this new feature. Uh, try if you can use it in your current apps because this is really a good feature. Uh, definitely, there's going to be some enhancement on the, of this feature. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Thank you.